Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tech Productions. Today I bankrupt and join for the first time uh, and a deck profile, Jason. Hey, how's it going guys? And he has finally got the Goku GT deck down to where he feels comfortable with it and ready to share it. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Oh yeah, there's buttons on below. Feel free to click them. All right. All right, so this is Sun Goku. Um, he's actually uh, full size powered Sun Goku. Uh, so on the um, unawakened side, uh, he says 10k. Uh, when you swing with him, you can take a life and draw a card. And if your life is uh, four or less, uh, you get to flip them over by untapping two energy. And then on the awakened side, you have um, a permanent if your uh, opponent has uh, four or more battle cards. Um, he can't be negated. Um, and then he also gains quadruple strike for the turn. And then his autos are, um, when you attack with this card, he gets an extra 5k and you get to draw a card. Um, so with uh, the permanents and the quadruple strike, um, I like to run two Android 21s. And this card is great on turn three. Um, especially if you don't awaken, you can play this card and then awaken and get your two energy back. So what I like to use her for is on at the end of your opponent's turn, you get to play clone tokens. So I got a few clone tokens and that helps the effect with the quadruple strike and can't negate uh, with the leader. Um, and I've actually got to use that effect a few times. Um, and I really like that. Uh, this helps the leader out tremendously. And uh, running two, of Android 21 is kind of all you need. Um, otherwise, you just end up drawing it and you don't really need any more than that. Um, so, right off the bat, on your turn one, I like to run uh, Demigra Unison. And this helps out to Unawaken. And uh, I run four of those. And uh, you plus one, he gets 15 uh, for the turn. And then you minus three, you get to uh, KO a uh, opponent's battle card, ignoring barrier, that's three or less. Um, so this unions is really great um, with a lot of the other cards I have in my deck. Key minus minus three actually potentially KOs two battle cards. Yes. And then um, another unison I play towards the end of the game um, is uh, this Vegeta unison, which, uh, is really really nice I run two of them um, just for like in game if I'm having trouble trying to do stuff with the unison but uh, he's double strike he's crit and then uh, you choose one card in your hand you discard it um, and when this card is played you choose all your opponents battle cards ignore and barrier and KO them that really helps out uh, towards end game um, and then plus one uh, he just gets plus five and then I really don't really use the plus or the negative five. I don't really need it uh, for this deck. Um, so those are the unisons I run. And then I run four surprise attack freezes because this deck actually KOs a lot of your battle, uh, your opponent's battle cards. Um, so I run four of those and then I run three dark dragon balls. And this card is great for the surprise attack freezes because you get to play it underneath it for free um, and then search your deck or your hand for the uh, the freezes Sinos. So this setup is it goes underneath your Frieza and you can play him on top and restand and he is double strike. And uh, another good thing about this card, um, if your opponent has three or more energy um, and you remove this card, um, or when this card is removed, uh, you know, with a skill or KO'd, you could take, uh, you get to pick, choose one green extra card with the energy cost of one or less from your drop area and add it back to your hand. And then in, you can activate main on this card and, um, place this card in the drop area and then you get to, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and put it in their drop. So it's, it's good to get remove a card from your opponent um, if you need to. Um, so those is that little uh, set up there with the freezes. And then next I have um, this uh, 
Green Sun Goku. Um, I'm sorry, don't know my own card names. Uh, I run three of these. Uh, he has to flex, so he can't be removed from skill uh, when you play him. And you do take a life, uh, but you get to choose um, the deck uh, for a Krillin. It's a four drop and blocker. And I run a couple of different Krillins. Um, this one, and then I run three of these. And both of them are blocker. Uh, one of them I get to uh, choose uh, one of your opponent's battle cards um, and then KO it. Um, which really helps out with the prize attack freezes to get them out. Or the other one, I get to draw two cards and then discard a card, uh, which really helps. Um, but when he is KO'd, either one of the Krillins are KO'd, I get to play these Gokus from hand, and I run four of them, and he's double strike, and these Gokus here, um, when Krillin is KO'd, you get to play him from hand uh, once per turn. And then uh, when you do play him, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and KO them. So this is a really good card to have because of the Krillins. Um, and then with his um, activates uh, two energy, um, you get to go through the deck and pick out two other, uh, actually just one other Goku card. It's a five drop. Um, and then evolve him on top of this card. Um, and then I have two, I run two of these, and then I run two of these. Um, this Goku card is really great because he's got barrier and he's got triple strike. Um, the skills do get negated for the turn uh, when you evolve him. Um, and I also run this card, which is new from the, the last set. He's got deflect. Double Strike, Barrier, and Dual Attack. Uh, it's really, really good to have, especially towards the end game. Um, and then for fun, I have one of these. Um, it really doesn't really make or break the game to have more than one. It's just in there just kind of for fun. But I get to evolve uh, one of these two into this. Um, and he's Double Strike and he's got Barrier. Um, and then after that setup, I do run one of these guys right here. And I really like this card a whole lot. Uh, Vegeta is one of my favorite characters, so I always got to add in at least one Vegeta of some type in the deck. And uh, he's got Deflect, he's Dripple Strike, and uh, he removes three markers from your opponent's unison, which comes really, really in handy. Um, if your opponent's playing a lot of units and getting the markers up there. I only run one. Um, it doesn't necessarily see play, but he's just there just in case. Um, next, we're starting to get into super combos. And this is the best. Paragus, in my opinion, is the best green super combo there is. You get to draw two cards and just warp one from your hand. Um, really awesome. And then my SCR is uh, Majibu Kapito Kai. And I really like this as far as the uh, Sugar Rare goes. I mean, you tap two energy, um, you get to play them, and then you, you know, your opponent can't um, attack for battle cards with a turn. Um, if you do have units in that, you can do Spirit Boost, and you can take over your, your opponent's um, units in as well which comes in really handy. Uh, but as far as green goes, this is probably my favorite SCR. And then we go with three. Um, Blowing up potentials. This is a really good card to have, especially if you have units in the out. It uh, KOs a card that's two or less. And if you discard a card, um, he can only attack one more time for the turn. Oh, and and uh, with the other unison, Bobby, the you gotta have these in there because this is yeah. another Bobby free card that, um, that you can play. Um, I mean, Frieza's Chromatic Villain is just really awesome to have, especially if you play unisons. And then the next ones I have, I do run four of Shocking Death Ball. Um, I think it's just a really good negate. You get the KO, a battle card, and 
if you got uh, an opponent that's doing double strike or even triple strike, so it's I good just to take a life sparking like five. Um, and, pay a fee and, and then I got two Manjabu negates. Um, so your opponent has to discard two cards. Uh, it does negate the uh, original attack. Um, and then every other attack after that, your opponent uh, has to discard two cards and he gets played. Um, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I run two of those. And then one of these to kind of help you out to start off any of the, you know, surprise attack freezes if your negates are just not getting them out there. And it's really good at getting rid of a big guy because uh, it's, um, you know, activate main, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with the higher what is good cost of their like energy, um, and it's KOA. That's just gonna be where and that's then I do run one of these, uh, double strike. This is really good to have. It kind of helps uh, move the game along. And then last but not least, I always gotta have at least one over realm. And Bardock Super Saiyan Force is awesome because it doesn't cost any energy to play him. He's over realm six and he's dual attack. Always a good thing. Well, that means anything. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, keep on your well, buttons down below and on the screen. Tables, and yeah, read your cards and your plays and fluff out.